Welcome back, it's fantastic to have you here. Today, we're working on the Dodge. We're gonna tackle that rear end and install a Grizzly Duralock limited slip differential, replace every bearing, every seal, and we might as well do the brakes and the rear shocks while we're at it. First round of parts has arrived. I bet Rock Auto's gonna love me. The first thing for me to do is to stake the tops of each one of these caps so I can make sure to put them back in the right location and the right orientation. I'm missing quite a few parts here, but normally you'd remove the center shaft, then you can slide the axles forward and remove this C-clip. This will let you slide the axle shafts out of the housing. So we've got these interesting nuts that are on the inside giving preload to the bearings. Um, and with the uh, Chrysler 9 and a quarter, you have two holes on either side. They do sell a tool that you can come in from the end of the axle to loosen these up, but after you remove the two nuts there holding it, they're actually pretty easy to just jam a screwdriver in there and, and spin. <laughs> Someone was really not kind to this differential. So many metal shavings and fragments, you just gotta clean the whole thing. So I thought I was being really smart and got this uh, bearing spreader to take care of the bearing here. But apparently, I didn't buy quite a large enough size and it doesn't quite work. And this is the spot where I became frustrated. But good thing my friends are around and recorded most of this. We did end up getting that bearing race off, but it took a lot of cutting and a lot of heat. I am reusing the ring and pinion, so we just need to transfer that over to the new carrier. So one valuable lesson that we learned is not all torque wrenches work in both directions. Uh, apparently most of mine don't. And since these are reverse thread, you, you really kind of need it. Max is using an old bearing race to assist in seating the new seal. While I wasn't looking, Jake and Ryan replaced all the seals and bearings, the rear shocks, and the rear brakes. So we've got the backlash set on the differential carrier. We used some blue Prussian to verify that that lash was set, and we've got the rear cover installed. I did use some grade five bolts here. Uh, not really the best. I've got some nice grade eights on their way. Uh, but I wanted to get the cover on, get the gasket set, and I can take one at a time each bolt out and replace it and everything will be fine. But at least now I'll be able to get some fluid in here and see if the truck will move and see if there are any other problems. Isn't that fantastic? Well, kind of. Uh, there was this really loud clunking noise as I drove back into the driveway. But, you know, it moves. I really got to thank some amazing friends for helping me out and getting this done in one day. Max, Ryan, Jake, and Ron, you all helped out immensely. I really appreciate it. And I really hope the rest of you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. All of that helps motivate me to make more of these videos, so I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic day. <laughs>